Hey there, and welcome back to my tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about PCDMS, but mostly Data Page Plus. More specifically, Stats Transfer. So what I mean by that is, we have a problem where we have multiple CMMs running PCDMS, but only one seat of data page on a standalone computer. The challenge is, how do we link those together? How do we export data? Where does the database reside? Does it reside on each PCDMS computer? Does it reside on a server? So these are all questions I get in training and also when I set up Data Page Plus at customers' facilities. So one solution I've come up with, which is pretty popular, is a method where the database will reside on a standalone computer and only one person has a seat of data page. So the way this works is we first create a network folder. So this is just a folder that all the computers have access to for exporting and importing. What happens next is the computers running PCDMS will export what's called an XML file. Those XML files will get dumped into that network folder and they'll stay there until the Data Page Plus operator employs a utility called Data Importer. That importer will process the XML files and then dump them into the database. So the database resides on the standalone computer, which can then import data from the database into Data Page Plus. So now we have just one single person operating Data Page Plus, processing data, statistics and creating charts and such. Okay, let's, I'll show you how we do that step by step. So the first thing we want to do is create a folder on a network, a common drive or whatever. So I'll just keep it simple. I'll just call it my network folder. Okay, so let's open that up because I want to copy the path because I'll use this uh, a little bit later. So we'll just right click and copy. So now what we want to do is open PCDMS. So in PCDMS, we first want to enter our stats command. So that's done from the menu bar, insert, statistics command, and statistics. So this is a little different than a regular method. Uh, we'll check offline. And the data source will leave blank because we, we're on the CMM computer that doesn't have access to a, a database. So we'll just click OK. So we'll get an error message, but we'll just ignore that because we'll do something else at the end. Let's go to the end of the program. And here we'll do what's called a, a stats transfer command. So I'm just going to type it in. I'll hit enter on the keyboard. Stats. And then I'll start typing the word transfer. And then as soon as I see the word, I'll just hit tab. So it's looking for a directory now. And this is where I'll just paste in my path to my network folder. There we go. So that's it. So what this will do is generate an XML file, which we'll later process using uh, the data importer. So let's first transfer that. So we'll just run this program quickly. Okay, so now let's open our network folder. There we go, so there's our XML file. So it's just sitting there waiting to be processed. Okay, so let's open up that data importer I was talking about. So you can do that from the start menu. Start menu, all programs, and we'll just look for data page plus 5.0, tools, and there it is there. So just give that a click. So there we go. So the first thing we want to do is browse for the path to monitor. So we'll, we'll browse to that folder I just created. So let's click the browse button. On the C drive, there it is there, my network folder, and I'll click OK. So you can see down there on the tree that it's running, which is fine, I'll just let that go. The file type to monitor is XML, and everything else will just leave the same. 
we can check for files automatically every one minute every two minutes so I think what I'll do is I'll just set this up to say five for now because I don't want it to to process it just yet uh, there's a few other options under the miscellaneous tab we have options of what to do after the XML file is processed uh, move to directory to, to delete I'll leave it set on the default setting to rename to extension three dollar signs so it just becomes a dummy file so that lets you know that it's been processed and it works so I think what I'll do here is just open up my network folder and just put it off to the side there and if I do the check now you'll see that change to the dollar signs so we now know that it's been processed and been dumped into the database. Okay, good. So the next step, so here's my database. You can see at the bottom there, it's my, it's a local database called CMM database. So if I refresh now, we should see my part appear. There it is. So I've just named it stats transfer and I have all that data at my disposal. So let's open that up quickly we can just apply that to a chart there we go so that's it so that's a, a bit of an involved solution to a, a common problem but uh, it's pretty popular amongst our customers and I've set this up many times and it's been quite successful okay so that's it thanks for joining me hope you found this useful and we'll see you next time